The next big bark. Okay. Uh, these are two baby Tyrandons that we grew up in the last episode right here. I like the fucking red and green one. The red and green one looks amazing. Uh, so we only have two chances at this. I'm only doing two chances today because it's just like... I can't, I'm not going to be able to farm up enough keratin for all this. And I definitely should have farmed up the keratin before the video, but I didn't, so. <laughs> uh, so, I guess, there's a car right there. Fuck. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, pretty car too. Oh. Okay, so the best thing is that we're going to take those two pteranodons and we're going to go out and see what we can do. But first we need keratin. 75 for both of them. This might not be... Eh, not doing as stronger attack. So. Oh, damn. He so did the stronger attack, man. The fuck? So I'm kind of hoping that it works out, but uh, I am also going to uh, look up the destroy all egg cheat because that's been verified in the world now. Because I don't know. Apparently, I do need a request admin. God damn it. There's a fucking setup to where I can only use certain admin abilities that would basically not be cheating, but would actually help break all eggs cheat. The bucket just clear out all the eggs real quick, and then the vibrance will respawn all the eggs. So yeah, I gotta do that. And then I will be able to fly over there steal eggs man steal eggs hopefully it works out <laughs> I really hope it works out. I don't know if we're gonna get any Easter color eggs but let's hope we do and it actually looks like this is gonna take a fucking while so I'm actually probably just going to cut the where I have all the shit I need learned tech gram metal tree platform <laughs> what What? It's not even in the tech tree. What? What the fuck is up with that? <laughs> Learn tech gram metal tree platform. Whoa. That's fucked, dude. <laughs> Oh, somebody fucked their job up, bro. God damn. Granted, it's not that bad, but holy fuck. Seriously? Metal tree platforms now tech engram. Wow. <laughs> that is definitely very shocking. Okay, so I just killed the doe ed right there, and I th actually have enough for at least one saddle. Uh, 68. I don't know if chitin will work the same, so let's go on ahead and check this out. Oh, nope, sorry, I make it in my inventory, I make it in my inventory. Okay. I will want to look at PT. It does work. Okay, cool. So now all we need is fiber and hide, which we already have. For some reason, still not crafted because I don't have enough hide. Good thing I was killing shit on the way here.
Okay, so now what's going to happen is I am actually going to take a, uh, take the Pteranodon and go kill that Alpha Raptor that we saw on the, uh, one of the, I think it was just like two episodes ago. I, I can't remember exactly, but apparently, I did a Dino Wipe since that episode, but, uh, I guess an Alpha just respawned right there. So, I'm going to go kill it. It's a very low level, it's just a level 24. And there's no point on me really showing it, so. Uh, but once I get back, I will show you guys me doing the destroy all egg cheat because, you know, trust fall and all, you know. <laughs> uh, okay. So, I'm going to need to empty out my inventory and I will... See you guys when I killed the fucking alpha, I guess, god. By the way, the alpha is all the way back at our original base, so I gotta fly it all the way over there. So, yeah, that's gonna be fun, but... There's no point in torturing you guys with seeing it. Plus, it's gonna take me about fucking... Five whole minutes just to kill the damn alpha, so... I'll meet you guys when I'm back over here. Alright, and we're back. So I had to log off to get my buddy to go in and wipe all the eggs, or go in and pick up all the eggs and get rid of them. And, uh, because apparently there's not a all egg cheat, as I assumed that there was. Uh, so the only way that I could have done it was a dino wipe, so. I wasn't necessarily going to just restart the server for that, so. I, my buddy was on, so I was just like, you know what? I'll get him to go wipe the eggs real quick. And I'm bugged the fuck out. <sighs> I am bugged the fuck out. There we go. Did it that way. I don't know why I didn't do it that way in the first damn place, but hey. Now that we're all fixed up, fucking Pteranodon's back in order. Where's the one with the saddle? Oh, the saddle's over here. Oh, so check this out, check this out. So, damn speedy, bro. So I leveled up its health just a little bit. Yeah, but I leveled up its movement speed by a lot, getting it up to 313 instead of 100. So now we're fucking zooming, and we got a lot of stamina. Now, as we all know, the rules for this fucking speed thing is... I can level up speed on Pteranodons however I see fit, but on any other creature, I'm not allowed to use that creature in, like, combat, boss battles, stuff like, like, specific things. Like, if I'm going to go kill something or something like that, I can't take it into battle. So, yeah, it does kind of suck on that rule, but... I don't think I'm really going to be leveling up the uh, Wyvern's movement speed at all. I think I will have that one Wyvern that will have the movement speed just in case I need it, but I really doubt I'm going to need it that much so mainly because Lost Islands is a nice map I'd like to just fly around and s see the map let's get the body out of here I did not buff its damage or whatever the damage that it has right now is its default damage uh it did get the weight up so it can carry my ass whatever have shit on me but yeah that's what it is, that's what it is. So we're going to be taking that one into the Guyver Nest. Hopefully it works out. And when my guy went up and wiped everything, he actually helped me out and said that there is a 108 that is still there and not rotted. So Looks like we can look forward to at least a 108. He only said that there was a 108. He said that there was a... That there was like a fucking 214 in there, but it was rotted, so he had to get rid of it, and there was a 108. 
Uh, so, hopefully it works out very well, and we get that 108. Oh yeah, I forgot. Too fat. I do kind of want to whistle all these guys on passive too. Like I know it can be dangerous to just leave them on passive, but I can't risk them going after that raptor again. Cause like, what if they go after the raptor and there's something else a lot worse on the other side of this fence? You know, I won't be able to defend them. And if this doesn't work, it basically means that we're going in with a fucking default Pteranodon next with very slow movement speed and it's going to really fucking suck. <laughs> I, uh, there was only one alpha, man. There was only one alpha and I'm not going to look for another. <laughs> so we only have one speedy chance at this. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Like, look how fast we're going, dude. Look how fast this is. This is amazing. Oh, shit, it just got dark as fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There's a wyvern right there, too. I think wyverns can still catch up to me, by the way. I do believe so. Yeah, I think they can still catch up to me. Looks like the Tyrandon just got another level, but we need to increase our... Oh my god, you're joking. Wow, the game was already kicked up. Oof. That's rough. That's rough, dude. That is really rough. Oh look, there's one of the, that must be one of the dragons he killed. Yo, I'm fucking freaking out, dude. I saw, okay, it's up there, it's up there, okay, we're cool, cool. Okay, so this is the 108. So what I want to do real quick is I actually want to go around and uh, just level off our fucking screen. Uh, I want to go around and check to see the other guys. See if we, any of them like respawned or something. There's a wyvern up there. <laughs> There's a wyvern up there. Okay, there's no nest up here though. No nest. No nest again. Huh. So it looks like the 108 is still the only I got here. Fuck, are you joking me? Damn. That sucks. That really does suck. That really does suck. It is super dark in here, dude. There's my dead body as well. That's from when I died the other day, because my fucking body's last ages. I don't think it's going to be possible for me to get that in. I had a grapple hook, man. Alright, well, we're going to have to come in for a better wyvern egg, from the looks of it, but uh, this is, seems to be the only wyvern egg that we can grab. Went away. Here we go. Now running. Oh, we can. I kinda, that kind of makes it very fun. 
killing, you're killing Megatherium. I didn't even realize Megatherium spawned in the land. I'm actually like quarter down health right now because of the land. I have an egg, thankfully. But honestly, we were just pretty lucky that that Alpha was that Alpha wasn't there. It would have probably been a lot different. And I mean way different because that alpha somehow got this trend on a hundred levels, dude. A hundred levels. And that's what saved our ass, I guess. Like, fuck yeah, dude. Like, fuck yeah. But, by the way, movement speed or not, if that fucking Ice Wyvern even sprayed this trend on once, we would have been slowed down to fucking hell where it would have literally been impossible to recover. But we got a level 108, which is really fucking weak, but it's something, you know. It's actually something. It sucks that he had to get rid of, like, the 214 egg or some shit like that. It, it really does suck. And I don't think this is enough to hatch it. <laughs> I really do not think that this is enough to hatch this egg. I didn't think so. <laughs> okay. Now, to light these bastards up. Okay, that's overheating me, so that should be enough. Hell yeah. As we all know, the hatch speed is turned up on the server, so it's not going to take long. This is definitely going to change shit, but it's not going to change much due to its low level. But it will definitely change the game to where I can leave the base now and actually fly around and do shit now. <laughs> Uh, won't have to worry about all this fucking stam breaks and shit like that because the Wyvern is by default faster than the Pteranodon. And they will also be way easier to level up instead of having to go all the way to an Alpha and finish off with my Pteranodon. I can just full on fight an Alpha straight up with this thing or I can just go around killing shit. Because it's strong enough to kill stuff. <laughs> it's basically going to be stronger than the Raptor, even, man. Like, that's gonna be amazing. Kinda wish we got the level 200 egg, but, you know. Shit happens. Like, it. We should have been in that Wyvern Trench ages ago, and it didn't happen because I didn't tame a breedable pair of Pteranodons, so. I guess that. We can only blame that on me. That's my fault. And there we go. Why does he look special? Oh my god. I'm trying to turn out all these damn things. Alright, now they're put all out. I don't think those are Easter colors, right? Or is blue on the Easter color roster? I can't remember. I literally can't remember. Um, so I'm actually going to have to pray and hope that this guy actually survive without wyvern milk, because... They need wiper milk until they're grown up, right? Mm, how fast you growing? Ah, it's supposed to take an hour and thirty minutes for this guy to grow. Mm, mm, damn. I know a high level wyvern doesn't need wyvern milk, but maybe this guy does. I mean, he's not draining that fast. Maybe he doesn't. 
Maybe he doesn't. Oof. I hope, because if he dies due to starvation, that's gonna really fucking suck. But then again, now we have a Pteranodon to actually go and raid the Ice Wyvern nest with now, so... That's going to be amazing. His damage is 147, obviously not that good, because it's a low-level Wyvern. 598 Stam, weight 592. Not bad, not bad, and I will be imprinting it. I will be imprinting it. It should take around two to three imprints to get this guy imprinted. Uh, I think I'll show you guys the first imprint. Mainly because I kind of want to keep monitoring it and see if we actually do need to go get wyvern milk, because that'll suck. I don't think we are capable of getting wyvern milk. <laughs> but, you know, we can try it. I really don't think we're capable of that. Oh, you know what? I should have taken this Tyrannodon, man. I just grabbed the Tyrannodon off the shelf and went, man. I completely forgot about the fucking red and green one, dude. It's whatever. Yeah, now that I can actually leave the fucking place. I would still leave on this. Like, look. Like, it is super fucking fast and would actually get me places now. But the issue is with this, I can't carry shit. I can't carry anything. With the wyvern, I can carry smaller creatures, basically. I can go tame up some fucking, like, trike. And then pick it up and just carry it back. Actually, I don't think wyverns can carry trikes. Maybe if they're tamed, I think they can. By the way, this Tyranodon would save me time and effort, but due to it still being so weak, it would only take one stun for everything to go wrong. For a Wyvern, it's way stronger than a Tyranodon, so it will be uh, it, so it'll actually be able to defend itself and defend me. I don't know if that fucking like look at this. Is that blue color an Easter color? I can't tell. I mean, it looks amazing, but I can't tell if it is an Easter color or not. I know that color cannot spawn on a fucking wyvern originally. There's no way. I don't think it's a Valentine's Day color. It's got to be an Easter color. But I don't know. Like, I don't know. It, it has to be an Easter color. But I don't remember seeing blue on the uh, Easter colors thing. Hmm. It has to be an Easter color. That's literally the only explanation right there. I would look it up, but, you know, no point. It's already at 3.6. Yeah, so this should take an hour and 30 minutes. I'm not going to show the entire hour and 30 minutes of it uh, growing up, mainly because I will only have an hour left to record, so I won't be able to see the last 30 minutes either way. Uh, since we're done with that, let's start leveling up other shit. I kind of want to get my health up a little bit more. I'm still fucking geeked out about that fucking... Uh, the Techgram Metal Tree platform, that's fucking hilarious. Someone really fucked up their job to put that in. <laughs> oh my god. That's literally fucking hilarious. Let's see what else we've unlocked here. Lock the air conditioner finally, but can't get that. Uh, we have the oil pump, which is amazing. Cost electronics, crystal, and metal ingots. Which I actually. Oh my god, do we have all that? Oh my god, do we have. Dude. 
Do we have oil? Do we have gasoline? No? Oh my god, put this in right now. Oh, fuck's sake, I don't have wood! Oh no, wrong one, that's a smithy! Fuck! Holy fuck, maybe we can't get something else done in this episode. Holy shit! Come on, bruh. Come on. Come on. Cook up. Cook up. So we got the crystal. And then it costs metal as well, which we should definitely have. I don't know why I put the stone in there. But, you know what? Just keep it in there. Whatever. <laughs> Yep, here we go. Here's the metal. Oh, I wonder if we... I think we can have enough to make two. I'm putting these electronics in here, too. Okay, there we go. Some gasoline. Oh. My. God, dude. can make five. I think I only need two, though. I think I only need two. No fucking way. Dude, that is fucking beautiful. Dude, we just fucking upgraded ourselves so fucking hard right now. See if he's gonna be fine. Ah, uh, one minute and fifty seconds. We're gonna have to wait for that real quick. Once we wait for that, I'll go and fucking put up the oil pot. Dude, that's fucking amazing. Like, bro, we just upgraded to the fabricator stage right here as well. Oh my god. That's amazing, dude. That's really fucking amazing. Holy shit. We're upgrading, we're upgrading. It's probably gonna take me about fucking few minutes to get there due to this transit on, but it is faster, so it'll it should only take maybe a few minutes. I still don't wanna take a few minutes. I want it to be like instant, but you know. I don't have teleporters right now. Most likely won't be setting up teleporters as well because, you know, by the time we get to the teleporter stage I've already completed everything, because on this map you have to defeat the Alpha Dinopithecus to uh to get the teleporter, tech teleporter, and we're only going to be doing beta. I want to do Alpha, but I think we're only going to be doing beta specifically because Arc Fjordor may be coming out before we get that done. If Arc Fjordor doesn't come out before we get that done, then hell yeah, I'm doing Alpha. I'm going for it. <laughs> I'm 100% going for it. <laughs> yep, 38%, so it's going to take three. Oof, oof. Okay. Looks like I'm staying on for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> Alright, let's go put up this fucking thing now, man. Let's put it up. We should be able to get there and get back on time before that fucking wyvern needs more care. Oh my god. I'm so shocked about it too, man. Like, we're fucking upgrading. It's taken forever. In last episode, I said it took 15 episodes, but it's actually been like 7 or 8. <laughs> actually, I think this might be the ninth episode, so 8. Oh my god, dude. Holy fuck. It took us so damn long to get up to this point, and now we're growing. Now we can actually do shit. It's fucking amazing. 
we're taming a mega theorem in the next episode 100%. <laughs> I, I, I want to tame a mega theorem. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just go around maybe looking for a new base location, but I don't know. We I think we need uh I think we need better dinos for that, to be honest with you. But honestly we also need a mega theorem. What the fuck is that? Oh it's a fucking little log. Oh, let's down and get some stam. I'm showing all this, man. I'm showing all this. The whole journey over to the desert, mining and shit like that. I know it's boring, but, like, we're upgrading, dude. We're upgrading. This is, like, amazing. This is beautiful stuff. And if I don't keep it in, I don't keep it in. We could head for a cinema crops in the next episode. We could definitely do that. Hell yeah, we could definitely do that. I really hate taming taming cinnos, but if we can do it in the next episode, I might as well do it, right? Well, then again, need to make a theorem for that too. I think that's a little rock pile that we can put oil at, right? Yes, I see two oil rocks right there. Okay. I actually think this is where I put my oil platforms in a public server. Alright, then there we go. Holy fuck, we've got it, bro. We've fucking got it. There we go. Oil platforms up and running. We're upgrading, dude. We are definitely upgrading. Okay, so we got 30 gas up in here. And how far are we off? About three minutes. Okay, well, I guess that gives me enough time to end off the video here. I'm going to finish imprinting this guy at 100% before I hop off. Uh, but for now, for right now, this is the stats on how it boosted since the first imprint, so I guess you can expect it to boost up for the damage to be around 250, maybe 280, the health to be around 7,000, maybe even 8,000. So, yeah. There you guys go. This was an amazing episode, by the way. Like, we fucking upgraded, dude. We upgraded. We haven't even lost a Tyrandon, surprisingly. It's bound to happen. It's going to happen. Uh. What? We got our oil platform set up. Now we're making oil. If we can get the fabricator fully up and running properly, we still need for hide. Because the Rex gets a decent amount of hide. And I think Giga gets eaten than Hyde, but the Rex is the best one for Hyde, so we're gonna have to get a Rex soon. We're gonna have to get a Megatherium. Uh, I really don't want to get a Mammoth, but we're probably gonna have to get a Mammoth due to its weight capabilities real good. And we are also going to need a Therizino and a Doed. I really need, honestly, Doed's gonna be pretty fucking useless, but I need it. I even need an Anki. I might actually end up taming an Anki, and I'm gonna have to level up all those fucking creatures, which is gonna be a bitch, because I really don't want to do that, but hey, it's gonna happen. Alright, so. That's literally it. That is literally it. Like, I'm so shocked on the, the progress that we made today. I actually wanna see if. Easter events is actually fully online, but I don't have any cookie pie, so I can't exactly see it. Which is very annoying, but hey, it happens. Okay. So, that's the end of the video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. We made a lot of progress. 
and now it's time for maybe a good taming spree or even a new base location depending on what's going to happen next I don't know we'll see hopefully it works out and I'll see you guys at the next one peace out